Hello, I am Karen Wallstra. I work with teachers on educational change. I have taught from grade R to grade 11, and I've worked at three different universities teaching students about educational technology. I am passionate about how we actually get teachers to think differently around the work that they're doing in terms of integrating technology. I worked for Google for a few years in, in a emerging markets team um, where we actually engage with teachers and schools and help the teachers to become aware of G Suite and how to use the tools within their schools. I'm excited to share with you today um, a bit about Google for Education. I'm making a slide presentation for preschoolers. The idea is that they would have to listen to what the instruction is because they probably wouldn't be able to read the words. So Google has this really cool feature now where you can upload audio. So let's give it a try. I'm going to go to the second slide and into present. Click on the square. So there you heard the sound. That's what I want to do on every slide. So how do we do this? You record your sound on whatever app you want to. I use an app called Rev and then I convert it into an MP3. I now need to upload it into the slide. So I'll go insert, audio, and there's my sound signal. So I'm going to click on it and select. The sound is now uploaded. Look at the format options that have opened up. I don't want it to be on click. For the little children, I want it to play automatically. So I click automatically. I move the audio where I want it to be and it's ready to go. Let's test it. This is a triangle. There is our sound. We'll continue doing this on all the slides until it's done. Making interactive, responsive slides for little children is really important to help them with their learning and at the same time getting them to use technology. Have fun!